get a new rug. This one's just too large. All right, guys, we're in my office because I just came up with a genius idea. Well, it's not really genius. That's a little bit far-fetched, but a really good idea to, or I guess you could say a solution to a really big problem for me. So, you know what? Let's, let's take it to the supposed to be library. It's not going to be a library anymore. So if you did not watch my video on my main channel, where I decorated the entryway. I brought you guys in this space and I talked about what it's officially gonna be. So go watch that video if you wanna know. But essentially, these pieces are not gonna stay in here anymore. And I love this piece so much. It's very cozy, it was in the library in the last house. And I just really thought I have nowhere to put this, but it's such a beautiful, cozy piece. I definitely did not want this to go to waste. So fireplaces are not a thing here, but I know that like newer houses in Florida do have fireplaces anyways, probably just for the ambiance and all of that. I do have a fireplace outside, but something like this inside will definitely be cozy, you know, for fall and winter. So let me show you what we're gonna do. So I knew my craft room was definitely out of the picture for this. My guest bedroom, also absolutely no room for this piece. And I thought, okay, let me somehow put it in my office, but where am I gonna put it? Cause I have this dresser. <coughs> but then I realized I can actually take this dresser and put it here in the closet and still get like drawers and organization. And then I can actually put the fireplace up against this wall and it will still have a spot for me to put the TV on and even a spot for my printer. So it still kind of serves as a functional piece. Um, plus, you know, when I'm sitting here and looking this way, I'll be able to see the fire. So that's the solution because at first when I walked in here, I thought the only place that it can go is this back wall and I have a whole plan for this back wall. I might even be painting this wall and then doing something on here. So um, putting the fireplace there was gonna be bizarre and then have my back to it, like what? That would make no sense. But in my mind at the time, I thought that's my only option. But no, it's not an option because I can definitely move this piece. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna go ahead and as you can see, I still have some unpacking to do. I have this lamp, which this lamp is not gonna stay here. I think it's gonna go in the guest bedroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and move that. And then, yeah, let's just, let's take care of my office. But first I have to clear out this closet because the dresser needs to go in here. So, oops. And luckily I don't have my hat on, it's on the table. So I look a little crazy. I look like Pippi Longstockings, but luckily I did not fill up the dresser, so I don't have to remove it all just to drag it over here. Okay, let mommy move this box. Ta-da! I'm so excited that I get to keep this piece. Okay. There we go. Now, all right, so now we have the space ready for the piece, but actually I'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick vacuum just right here.
plug it in. Good morning. I'm starting my routine of opening up all the shades in the house. Okay, so I've got the TV on. I like to start off with YouTube in the mornings on the big TV. And then I come over here and I turn on I Love Lucy. Alexa, play I Love Lucy season five, episode 13. First I Love Lucy season five, episode 13. Here's what this room is looking like right now since we got the fireplace out of it and then I'm going to work on getting these upstairs. They're very heavy. So anyways, let's go take Loki outside. Come on, Loki. Let's go outside. Little fenced in yard, which I'm not a fan of, but here we are. All right, so I need to wash my face this morning. I look at my breakouts. I mean, I knew it was gonna happen because of the milk. That I've been drinking with my coffee, but I don't drink coffee that much anymore. So it's just kind of like a treat, but this is what happens. Um, all right. Yes, I've tried all my milk, all this. I, I don't really like it. Loki, don't do that. So I'm gonna wash my face and today, I'm so that I can put on sunscreen. I don't want to just like put it on my skin. You know, I've been sleeping. So today I'm going to go to the beach and I'm so excited. It's just going to be like very chill. I'm not really going to like sit and tan or anything like that. I'm just going to like go walk, I guess you could say. So first of all, let's start off with some chapstick. I'm just grabbing from what's on top. This is the Burt's Bees Coconut and Pear. Love this one. Alright. Should have put that on like, I don't know, after I washed my face. I'm going to use my African black soap. And one of these. So you're not supposed to like put this onto your skin. You're supposed to like take a cloth and then do that. Yeah, and that's what the packaging says. It says do not apply directly to the skin. Lather with a sponge, loofah, or washcloth. Then lather to desired area. Okay. So open it like this. I'm gonna give this, put this under the faucet. Loki. Okay. 
Does this go on before like all the other stuff? I don't really know. I feel like it would make sense for it to go on kind of first, but I don't really know that much about makeup and stuff. I mean, even though I do my makeup, been doing it for a really long time, I still don't like you know, watch videos and it's never really been my my favorite kind of videos. I mean, I loved, if you remember a long time ago, I would like always give my favorite like YouTubers list. And the very first time I was putting out my lists, I actually had some makeup gurus on there, Nicole, um, Nicole Guerrero, love her. But I don't really like watch makeup stuff in like the last five, seven years-ish. All right, so I've got that on. This is, this is it. I don't want to be wearing any makeup today. I'm not going to be doing any, um, yeah, so I definitely don't want to be wearing any makeup. I just want to go bare-faced, fresh-faced, um, you know, just for the day into the beach. And I do think I want to bake this morning. There's a recipe that I want to try from Pinterest. And it's like these little Hawaiian rolls, French, French, Hawaiian French toast things with like strawberry cream cheese filling. They look so, so good. And I just really have wanted to bake so much on my vlogs. Like even though I won't be able to eat a whole lot of what I make, I just love the idea of baking. Also, I wanted to show you guys real quick that that little, the little pond, I wouldn't even call it that because as you can see, it's completely dried up. So, all gone. Let's make French toast buns. And let's stuff them with a strawberry cream cheese filling. So we're gonna take strawberries, cream cheese, sugar, and mix it together. And then you're gonna fill these little buns until they're nice and heaping. And then you're gonna dip, 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 and then air fry them until they're nice and golden. And if you don't have an air fryer, you could bake them in the oven. And then you're gonna dust some powdered sugar on top for some extra oomph. And ooh, baby, these are so good. 